Mongoose magic moments. The Tabokalori Yellow Mongoose group. Hello friends, Mongoose Magic Moments, Walk with Wildlife, currently walking alongside Tsiboka Lodi, the dominant female from Tsiboka Lodi Yellow Mongoose Group, here in the Meerkat Magic Valley Reserve of the Meerkat Magic Conservation Project. She's just going to check that it is me. She's a bit jumpy at the moment. She was scared by some hardy doll ibis a few minutes ago. Currently, her two offspring from November 2018's litter are foraging in the shade. And she's just heading into that area now. There are a lot of Rhabdomus pomelio striped mice that hide underneath these acacia karoos, a sweet thorn, sudorings, indigenous thorn trees here. And I've noticed that the yellow mongooses from this particular study group will commonly go into the shade and hunt these mice during the hotter periods of the day. And she's going back in. It's probably around 34 to 36 degrees centigrade. It's not that hot because the bush thermometers, as I like to call them, for any who have watched my previous videos over the years, the cicadas are not yet calling. But considering it is the 23rd of March, 2021, my happy birthday, Mom. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It was great to speak to you earlier. Just a little shout out to my wonderful mom. It's supposed to be getting much, much colder already, but this is a roastingly hot summer's day. So, going to head out and look for the others. A very, very difficult to keep track of. It reminds me of working with banded mongooses in Uganda back in the 90s. Queen Elizabeth Park, near the Ruanzori and Virunga Mountains. All right, she's coming out again. It's an incredible feeling to build up this kind of trust. It's taken me over a decade of patience with this family group. Been following them since 2008. She's busy checking around very carefully for any potential predators. But on a day like this, which is such a calm day, there's a slight breeze, but visibility is excellent. Any aerial predators trying to make an attack here don't have a chance of getting close and she's being very vigilant but now she's moving into the thicker vegetation so the chances of finding any rodents there are very low now it looks like she might be looking for Sao Borna and Giabongo she's backtracking that way now it's not uncommon for them to get dispersed, sometimes a few hundred meters from each other I've seen. They are not like the meerkats that forage right next to each other, calling constantly, letting each other know where they are. And if they get too far apart, the call volume increases with dispersal. And as they get closer together, meerkats actually start making louder calls to warn each other to basically stay away from their food. Whereas the yellow mongooses are stealth predators. So hunting these rodents, They do not go hunt right next to each other. Whereas meerkats you can hear from hundreds of meters away on some days when they're getting very, very noisy under the vegetation. At the moment, they'll be resting in the shade. And mongooses like these Cynictus penicillata, the yellow mongooses are far more variable in their activity periods than the meerkats. They'll often be active even at night. I've seen them at two o'clock in the morning, walking around, hunting.
All right, I'm going to end the video now. She's probably found the other two and they'll be foraging in the dense shade under these thorn trees, which are basically an impenetrable thicket. Like with the banded mongooses heading into the very thick tropical vegetation, it becomes pretty much impossible to keep track of them until they emerge again. So I'll see what she's doing later today. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Stay safe out there.